in the, in the general election, clearly. But as you pointed out, Governor Yunkin and others, right, this is th these issues about and, and the uh, surrounding school boards, right, which people view as very local. They want to be in charge. They don't want the college board teaching our kids. They want their local school board. So it's you know, the pandemic in a certain way got parents hyper involved in their child's education. And now it's kind of percolated up. And so you saw DeSantis. They may not just get rid of this course. They may get rid of all the college board in, 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 in Florida. They say, look, we can scrap it. We'll, we'll, st we'll do it ourselves. But also, so, of course, in terms of addition and subtraction, I think what a lot of Republicans who are looking at this, uh, the 2024 race are thinking about is 2016 and how Donald Trump really wrote a lot of division and picked a lot of fights. And, and, so, and that was a very successful strategy for him. So but, you're seeing DeSantis really lean into this. He's relishing these fights. And he's definitely, as Eva said, not going to let up. I think that's right. But the problem is that that kind of approach did not work for Donald Trump in 2018, no. 2020, or 2022. And I think that DeSantis is massively starting to overreach. The difference with the, the governor of Virginia is he wasn't governor yet. DeSantis has actually passed these laws. And if you really look at what these laws do, it's massive socialism covered in an anti-woke cloak. What because, do you mean socialism? because what they're doing is they're actually terrorizing families in terms of going to school and not knowing whether they can talk about something. And if they do, they're going to get in trouble with the law. Teachers are terrified of teaching something in order to go sideways with what they can or can't teach in terms of black history. Showing a Harriet Tubman book could get them in trouble. Showing a picture, no. a poster of Cesar Chavez might get them in trouble. God forbid there's a kid whose parents work for a grape company yeah. that might fe make them feel oppressed. I mean, it's ridiculous the extent to which this governor is overreaching, and it will work for the Republican base, but in a, in a state and in a country that is becoming more multi-ethnic, multicultural, mm -hmm. and younger every day, it's not going to work.